Today is a pretty big day. We got the release of Ratio, the super app, the launcher for productivity and for digital minimalism on the Play Store. So you don't need an invite anymore. You can get Ratio on the Play Store as of right now. You can go to the link below. And if you are new to this community, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to stay updated. Essentially, today is going to be a pretty long video. I'm going to go to every feature that Ratio has as of right now. And then at the end, I'll be explaining a little bit about the tree and what does that mean for Ratio in the future. All right, so if you have gone through the guides, which have been very helpful so far, but you are yet not sure what Ratio is or how to use it, this is the video for you. So essentially, I'll be going step by step through every feature that I can think of, and then you can finally get to see what is the walkthrough in Ratio. Essentially, these are the drawers. When you first start you will get an option to auto categorize them so you can categorize the drawers and put right here all of the different apps you can also rename them if you hold you, you can change icon az order you can lock it and you can edit it if you edit it it will ask you for your confirmation and fingerprint and after you are back right here you're able to add the different apps that you may have. So you will search for an app, for example, this time around, we're just going to use 270 and Amazon Shopping. And then after that, you will edit, you will video, done. And then you will go back. You will see that right here, we have added Amazon Shopping, 270, WhatsApp and camera. This is just for demonstration purposes. You can put as many drawers as you want and you can put them in whichever order you want. So for example, if we wanna move communication down, we just move it down like right here. So that is the drawers and how to organize them. On top of that, you can also customize the drawers. You can change the icon right here. You can choose different icons for the drawers. We're gonna leave it for this one right here. We're gonna go put it back up. And right there you have it. As you see, I have a couple of things on top. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's get to that right now. When you hold the app, you will be able to see different things such as the storage used, the data used, the usage time today or during the week. You will also be able to stop the app. You will be able to uninstall it if it's not a stock app. You'll be able to change the icon. For example, right there you'll be able to change the marker to classic, bright highlight, dark highlight, or a specific marker, which is yellow at the moment. You can also change the orientation of the app whenever it opens. If you want to open an app that is always on landscape or portrait, you can do so, but this will change the behavior of the app. So make sure to accept that. So right there, we're going to leave it on landscape and we're going to open it and it will rotate automatically. You can also change the custom brightness right here. You want the app to always open at a certain brightness, let it be low or high, you can make it right there. You can also move the app to a different drawer. Let's go back. You can change the color mode, you can hide it. You can lock it if you want somebody to not access it, only yourself by you know authenticating your fingerprint. You can also mute the app if you don't want to receive notifications from it, or you can expand it if you want to have more real estate on your drawer. You can also change the color. Right here, we're going to get an error, which we're going to fix by going into the ratio tool. Whenever you go into color and you try to get it, but you have not used the ratio tool, you will get this error. It says feature not supported. Ratio doesn't have the right permissions to use this feature. You need to go to block.com and download the ratio tool. We're going to press not now, and we're going to go and fix it. First, you will need to download the ratio tool. And after you have opened it, it will ask you to go to developer options in your phone settings about phone. Press on the build seven times. Click next. Turn on USB debugging. Click next. And the process has been successful if you have done it correctly. So now we're able to toggle the color mode back and forth. We saw it in color. So now we're going to put it in black and white. Right there, it turned from color to black and white, and also it's trying to battle between the portrait mode and the landscape mode since we changed the orientation. 
We're going to just fix that right there to automatic. You can do so with any other app. You can also rename the drawers. You can order them from A to Z, lock them, or edit it. This will require your fingerprint. As you see right here, you're able to edit the name of the drawer up to a certain character length. Right there. You're also able to add. Let's add, for example, BNH, Android Auto, and let's say Bits right there. We're able to go back, and as we open the drawer, it has all of the newly added apps. You're able to change how these apps look and also all of the different things, move them around. But whenever you put the lock from A to Z, you will not be able to do that. So right here, A to Z order, order is for you. And you're only going to be able to have that. We can also add right there, video. Now we're going to go through some of the settings and the tiles. Here we can edit the app doors. We can categorize them, which will remove all of the things that you have done and auto categorize them for you. You can also restore the tiles configuration. So if you have a backup, it'll be able to restore it for you. You can change the notification pill speed from very fast to very slow. If you don't want it to be bugging you right there for every notification that you have. You can also show the drawer icons. We'll go through those in just a second. The pin root cards. You can center the drawers vertically. You can also change the number of columns from four to five. You can display the search results at the bottom and double tap the tiles to lock the screen. This will only be available if you allow the ratio tool as well. So we're going to go back and you're going to see a couple of the icons right here, right there. You can edit those as well with the change of the icon as I showcase in the beginning. Now let's explore focus mode. Focus mode is only going to highlight those apps that have a marker. So for example, our calendar right there has a marker, not a highlight, but a marker. If it has a bright highlight or a dark highlight, it will not work. Whenever we're out of focus mode, it will show up as a bright or as a right there. You can change the different styles according to your preference, depending on what you want to showcase and what you want to pay attention the most to. And you also have sun mode. Again, highlights will not show up, but markers will do. So markers right there do show up. Highlights do not. We're going to go out of sun mode and we're going to get to the root. Now we get to the root, which I think is the more interesting part. We can check the weather. Let's say that we are in London. And we'll give you the weather right there. You can expand the card. See the forecast until tomorrow. You can also see the week. In Fahrenheit or in Celsius, depending on your preference. You can see the percentage of rain. Very low. Less than 30. We're going to close that. You can also check the news. Let's see TechCrunch, for example, right here. So there you have the different news. You can expand them. You can even read a preview. Get a little bit of a bigger right there font. And then you can open the article, article pretty seamlessly and get to the end. This will automatically update throughout the day, so you don't have to reopen it again and again. You can go to Songkick if you're trying to look for a specific artist calendar. Let's say NF. Right there, Songkick, two upcoming events for NF. And you can have quant. Now you can also change it to Google. We'll see in just a second. And you can look up YouTube as well. Let's see ratio launcher. And right there, you'll get different results. Uh, we're going to go back here so that doesn't get. 
and whenever you touch it, that video right there, it will play. I have new pipe, so it will go directly to new pipe. How's it going, everybody? So and that was me in a previous video. So now let's get to the next one, notes. You can take little notes here and there. Pretty quick. You can highlight them, italicize them, create a to-do list, maybe by points, whatever you want, it'll be right there. The next one is the timer. Let's say for 10 minutes. This will also show up on the lock screen. And as you see, it has a 1% back there. You can pause it, reset it, or restart it. You can also look up tickets. If you have anything like a QR code or anything like a flight ticket, you can show it up there. It has a camera icon there that will lead you to scan it. You also have a converter length, area, mass, volume, etc. Let's do length. Right there, inches to centimeters. You can change the units. Eight inches, 20 centimeters. There you go. You also have a calculator. <laughs> right there. And you can also have Google searches and your calendar. There's one more that I didn't see and that is Spotify. You can have your Spotify card. I don't know if I have disabled it right there. Spotify, as you see, this is the root panel on the different settings. Root right there. You can change their search engine from quant to Google whichever one you prefer. And let's add the Spotify one right here. Spotify card. It will open up to Spotify whenever you open the app. If the app is not open, it will not work. We're going to pin it at the top. Also, same thing, we can pin the calendar. And as I said before, or as I had it before, I, I also had pin the weather. You can change that in different locations. And it will show up right here on the tiles. Now there is one more section that I would like to showcase. Before that, let's go to the settings, the ratio settings. Oh, whoops, I activated some mode, apparently. So right here, let's go to the settings. General, exit ratio manually. If for some reason it does not recognize or ratio gets buggy, you can reset it manually. You can also do the block desk connection. This will become more apparent in the future as block desk uh, comes back. Right now it's kind of on pause. So it's an application that allows you to connect your messages and everything between your computer and the device. But as of right now, it's not working very well. You can change the background opacity of the tiles and of the whole system. I like to keep it at five, however. You can disable sun mode when leaving ratio. So let's say that you have sun mode activated. You can use the 24 hour format. Let me show you the disable sun mode when leaving ratio. So let's say that you have sun mode activated. You go to a specific app. You come back, it will be disabled. Right there. You also have use ratio as the assistant app. So let's say that I want to toggle back and forth really quickly between the color mode and the non-color mode. I will use the edge of the assistant and it will right there not bring up Google Assistant, but rather it will bring up ratio. So it will change the color mode really quick. Let's go to general again. You have enable grayscale color mode changes. Enable faster animation, system white. You can also check the wallpapers that Ratio has. You can start the onboarding. 
disable onboarding. So if you have any questions, you can go back through that first screen. And you also have a permissions manager. If you ever feel like you want to revoke something, you can do it here by feature or by permission. You can also uninstall ratio. And again, you have the tiles, the root settings, etc., etc. The last screen that I want to showcase is the tree. So the tree is that most awaited feature that you all have been waiting for. And this is the conversation hub that you may have seen in the website. Now this is coming very soon and I want to showcase it in the device right here. It will look a little bit differently than this. This is the block 018 right here. It is different than the ratio system. This is where ratio came from actually. So as you see, this is ratio on a phone, actual phone. This is ratio on any device. So ratio on a phone or block OS will allow you to have the conversations right here. And let's go to those settings actually. Uh, block settings, the tree. You will have phone, SMS, Facebook Messenger, Instagram if you have the app, Telegram, or WhatsApp. I don't have Facebook anymore, so that will be disabled. And then back here, we're going to go back. And right there, you'll be able to have all of your messages and talk with the people that you love. You'll be able to have favorites and different things. It will be a little bit different on the aesthetic right here, but it's the same concept. So you'll be able to use it. I'll be making a video whenever it comes out in about 10 days. So stay tuned to the channel. If you have any questions or anything that you want to do, make sure to check it out and also join the Discord. So we're going to search for an app right here. Discord right there. Shout out to all the Discord people. And there will be a new website coming out very soon, hopefully by the time that I publish this video. So if you have any questions or anything else, make sure to put them in the description below and let's get back to a final thought. That is Ratio on the Play Store. We are really excited to uh, finally have it and finally be able to re-release to everybody who wants to try it out. And of course, if you are kind of wondering, well, where's the tree? You showcased it on the Z18, but it's not yet on your device. It is coming very soon. As of October 15th, it'll be opened up for those of you who are on the Telegram groups. If you wanna be part of the Telegram groups, make sure to stay tuned to the Discord and also stay tuned to the community. The devs are always requesting more testers, so make sure to sign up. Please do not start asking, asking, asking. Just wait until the announcement is made and maybe you'll be able to make it to the beta, beta or alpha testing of the groups. Uh, essentially, the tree is coming. You'll be able to test it out and I'll make uh, an update when that comes. These are all the features from Ratio. Sorry for the super long video, but we had to cover it for everybody else that did not have the opportunity to see this or to have it before. And for those of you who are wondering how to do this and how to do that, everything is separated by chapters and by timestamps. So make sure to check them out. I'll see you in the next one. It's been a long video for me and stay tuned for the Discord community. And if you have any other questions about any other devices, digital minimalism or anything, make sure to drop them below. I'll be interacting with you guys in the comments. See you in the next one.